Insert your knife point under the hide only and make one long straight incision up the belly. The natural tautness of the hide will cause the skin and hair to pull away, giving you unobstructed access to the abdominal muscle tissues. Using short, shallow slicing strokes, open the body cavity by cutting the skin, fat, and abdominal muscle tissue. As the tissue separates, use your fingers to enlarge the abdominal opening until you can fit your hands into the body cavity. If you wish to have your deer head mounted, stop the incision at the bottom of the rib cage. Otherwise, continue the opening all the way to the fleshy, hollow junction of the neck and chest. Using a saw, large knife, or small axe and sledgehammer, open the chest cavity by separating the rib cage. This will allow easier removal of the heart and lungs. Severing the windpipe will make it easier to remove the stomach and lungs. Carefully sever the connective tissue holding the anterior organs to the diaphragm and pull the entire mass of organs back toward the pelvic opening. Using a saw, large knife, or small axe and sledgehammer, open the pelvis to ease of removing the organs. Lay the bulk of the organs outside the carcass. Guide the lower intestine through the pelvic opening and then sever the anus and sphincter muscle from the carcass. Prop body cavity open with sticks and cool quickly by hanging with head up in a shady, airy place. It would be ideal to let it hang this way for about an hour before moving it to the camp or car. A tarp wrapped around the carcass will keep the flies and dirt out as you drag it out of the woods or transport it. This carcass should be dragged or carted out of the woods and not carried on your shoulders. A deer on the shoulders can invite a shot by another hunter. My name's Tim. That's your archery tip of the week, and we'll keep you pumping blood.